everybody, this is Marsha again, and I'm back, and today you see I have on my wig cap, so yes, we are doing a wig, and this is a lace front, it's Quinn, this is what it looks like, and I have her in a 1B30, let me show you the wig, isn't that pretty look, look at the colors in it, and yes, I'm a 2, but I wanted this color, so I said I should be able to make it work. I hope you can see the coloring in it. It's so pretty. Look at the texture of the curls, and it's really full looking so far. That's the length. And again, here's the wig tag. It's the same thing as the picture I just showed you. I don't think I can see the color in that, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to cut this lace off, and we'll come back with the wrong. And she is on, and in the curls in her, beautiful. And you can see the colors kind of all over, it's not just in one spot. And again, this is for the people first that just like to wear the lace fronts on your head. This is kind of what the hairline will look like. Which I know I'm not leaving it like that. So let me pull my edges out, and then we'll start playing with them. And I'm just pulling just a little of the edges out, not a lot. Just about that much. Okay, and now let's put some Control wig spray on my edges. And I'll do my shine last. Okay. So it's not really long. Not really, really long. I'd say maybe about. 12 inches the longest, I think. The curls are really pretty and springy and bouncy. So I'm just kind of going to pull them out a little bit. I don't have the combs in or anything, so that's why I'm holding. I absolutely adore this. So I'm just pulling the curls out, and that's it. Just kind of finger comb to give it a fuller look. Now if I'm looking away, that's because I'm looking in a look the bigger mirror so I can see. I'm not the camera in. Oh, this is so pretty. And I bought her from my beauty supply store. They were actually two for forty. I got her and another one too, which will be in my next video. But I absolutely adore this one. So you see, the more you pull her out, kind of the bigger it gets. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back.
and as you can tell, it's already like cut in layers, so it's shorter towards the top. There's a lip here, then there, and then, of course, look here, so it's more than three. So it, that's the first lip, then there, and here, and then the last lip. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back and about where it stops. So the length stops about here. And this is what the back looks like. Really bouncy and springy. Okay, now let's put some of uh, my favorite shiny jam on. Just on my edges, just a little bit. And I probably won't be able to see this because I'm again in the mirror. But I just like to put it on my edges just to smooth it down. Not a lot. And then I just use a soft brush and brush my edges into the hair. So again, this is Mrs. Quinn, and I love her. I hope you guys can see the color, because from what I'm seeing, I can't really see it in the camera, but you'll be able to see it in the pictures. Let me try. And then it's like it's all over. It's not just in one spot, and then it's like on the tips and the ends. See right there? Then here you can tell it's a piece there. But adore her. I like it. So see you guys next video. Bye. Okay, y'all know I always forget something, so I'm back again. But I just was playing with this and look you can pull like these little pieces out separately. So you can even pull it to where, really, you don't even have to show the front of your hair. But see, I already have mine sticked in. But if you didn't want to, you really don't have to pull any hair out with this one. And I am loving the color. They just kind of spring back once you pull them. I can see this hair is so full. But that was it. Just wanted you to see that. So, this is really nice and I am really loving her. See you guys next video. Bye.